The large-scale military factory struck by Ukrainian drones deep in Russia on Sunday was involved in manufacturing key weapons that helped Russia continue waging its war against Ukraine. Namely, the factory was producing explosives, aircraft and artillery shells, aircraft bombs, including KAB, warheads for cumulative anti-tank guided missiles, and warheads for air defense missile systems. The state-owned Sverdlov plant in Zerzinsk city Russia's Nizhny Novgorod region came under Ukrainian attack on the night leading to Sunday. The operation to strike the factory was carried out by the security service of Ukraine known as SBU, the Special Operations Forces and Ukraine's Military Intelligence Agency. The factory that is 900 kilometers from Ukraine, had been under EU and US sanctions since 2023, as it manufactured products that are used to wage war in Ukraine. The SBU has worked to strengthen sanctions against the Sverdlov plant. We have added drones to economic sanctions, which have an immediate effect. Work on reducing the enemy's military capabilities will continue, a source within the SBU has said. Ukrainian political strategist Oleksiy Holobutsky believes that Russia's partners are beginning to put pressure on Putin not to continue the war against Ukraine. Putin feels that the war is starting to bother his partners, and he is not talking about it directly. Of course, he is not the only one to say this. The same partners of the Russian Federation in the BRICS are starting to tell him about it. That is, the Russian-Ukrainian war has already brought everything that could be positive, so to speak, for these countries. We are talking, first of all, about China and India. However, no one is going to lift sanctions against Russia. That's why Russia's partners are hindered by the continuation of this war, Holobutsky said on Espresso TV. The political strategist is convinced that Western countries will continue to put pressure on China and India that support Russia in its war against Ukraine. Of course, the West will continue to demand that China and India take sides in this war because this war has already become a problem for globalization and international trade, he said. But the United States has imposed sanctions on two China-based drone suppliers and their alleged Russian partners the first time it has penalized Chinese companies for supplying complete weapon systems to Russia for its war in Ukraine. Washington has long accused China of supporting Russia's war effort by supplying dual-use goods and components that could be used in the manufacture of weapons which Beijing denies. But in an announcement Thursday, the US Treasury Department accused the Chinese firms of direct involvement in arms supplies to Moscow. The Chinese companies had collaborated with Russian defense firms in the production of Moscow's Garpia series long-range unmanned aerial vehicles, the department said in a statement. The drones were designed, developed and made in China before being sent to Russia for use in the battlefield, it said. The Garpia has been deployed by Russia in its brutal war against Ukraine, destroying critical infrastructure and causing mass casualties, it said. 
while the United States previously imposed sanctions on Chinese entities providing critical inputs to Russia's military industrial base. These are the first U.S. sanctions imposed on Chinese entities directly developing and producing complete weapon systems in participation with Russian firms. The Chinese embassy in Washington denied the latest accusations and said China was handling the export of military products responsibly.